This is a, a Creek Defender event, um, and we're having folks come in, and we're doing two main operations today. The first one being a, a massive cleanup. Um, you look around, and there's a lot of garbage, plastics. People just throw stuff around, and we have a lot of volunteers out here uh, cleaning up on behalf of the village and on behalf of Save the Great South Bay. We're getting a lot of uh, village residents and a lot of the children come down. I have my two grandchildren here that uh, uh, are starting to understand what the need is for and that's all about attitudes and how they grow up to understand how beautiful we have it here in Babylon Village and to keep it clean. I really love volunteering. I love doing things for the earth because I think the earth is such a beautiful place. In addition, we have a red maple swamp that we're planting. Um, so it's native species graciously donated to us by Long Island natives. And we're just popping in the plants today after a, a long day of tilling the, the earth and you know, getting it in and it's gonna be really beautiful. We recognize that there's a place for ornamental plants, um, but when these more sensitive sites, we'd like to see the removal of some of these ornamental plantings and going back to what naturally occurred here on some of these sites and, and some of the benefits that are associated with planting with native plants. We are planting alongside the woods itself in order to just bring more fruition, more wildlife, more enrichment to this beautiful land that we've been able to inhabit for all these years. Usually when it rains, all the garbage gets washed with the rain down here, so the roots of the plants will stop the garbage from coming into our forest. If you can restore the, the habitat surrounding the, the water bodies, you, you can suck up a lot of those nutrients um, via plant assimilation and just basically establishing very spongy soils so that the, these nutrients don't enter the water bodies. 